Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Carla and this is Carla's Sweet Life. Today's video, I'm tackling my laundry room for a major organization. And the goal of today's video is for this room, this laundry room, to not feel so overwhelming every single time we walk in there. It feels like a lot to me and my husband, so I'm ready to tackle this and get it all organized and hopefully decluttered. So if there's a space that you need to tackle, or the laundry room even make sure to stay tuned till the end to see this transformation here on my channel I do tons of cleaning including cleaning hacks and organization and this is part two to my organizing series I will make sure to leave this video to part one linked down below in an iCard as well so you can check it out and pretty much see all the areas that have worked as far as organizing systems and the areas that didn't work which is the laundry room which is one of them so that's why I will be tackling that today but make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the series to get all the things organized well the things that have not been able to stay organized please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new I would love to have you here and I just really want to inspire and encourage you to get something done and organized and maybe decluttered out of your home so you don't feel as overwhelmed now let's get started so since there's not much room here and I this event fan is loud I'm sorry I'm just gonna start one shelf at a time I would typically take like everything out but we just don't have room for that so I'm going to do my absolute best just to tackle one shelf at a time and put things where they belong or declutter and get this better organized So before heading on to the second shelf organization, I wanted to share a sweet friend of mine that I talk almost every single day and her name is Hope from At Home with Hope and she has just really relatable content on her channel. She does clean and motivation and laundry motivation. She is a mom of four so we can just relate so much on mom life and just family in general. And some of you guys may even remember her. We have collaborated in a past video, but if you are not subscribed to her channel, you should definitely head on over to her channel and the video that we collaborated on. I'm sure it's going to be super satisfying. Her videos go from super messy to super clean, so they are really satisfying. I really think you guys will enjoy. If you haven't subscribed yet, let her know that I sent you over and show her channel and her videos some love. So this might be an overkill. <laughs> this is huge, but I want to get all these boxes of chips out of here. Like there's one, two, there was three. My husband must have emptied it out, but I'm going to put all the chips in here and just have like one basket. So as I am going through these shelves, I'm just trying to organize them and pretty much put like items together, group them together. That way they can stay together and not be so sporadic and spread out in this laundry room. And I'm also placing some items in the garage storage area that we just really do not use that often at all. So I have a set of the Jaws cleaners, but I haven't even used them yet, but I decided to place them upstairs. That way I have like a set of everything upstairs and then my super regular cleaning products downstairs. But they were legit just sitting in this laundry room, 
doing nothing. And now I don't have to be running upstairs and downstairs or even avoiding an area upstairs because I don't have a specific cleaner. But since the Jaws cleaning products all have like a specific purpose, I was able to take it upstairs and actually make use of it. Look who just woke up from her nap. <gasps> Can you say hi? Hi, big girl. Say hi. <coughs> what? Say hi. <laughs> she just woke up from her nap. Right, Abigail? Right, my sweet girl. Here is the end result. Everything is just much more organized where it belongs. I have all like soaps and cleaners up here. And then this is like the laundry section. And then this is the extra laundry items plus a little first aid kit because, you know, kids and they fall. So this is perfect area because the door is right over here. And then we just have like towels, baby wipes, and then formula, and all of the bulkier pieces for like the kitchen appliances. And then the air fryer goes right here. But I put all of our sunscreens and goggles right here because it's summertime and we need them and hopefully get rid of these masks soon. Got some oil and vinegar and this, just in case electricity goes out, because in Northern California with fires in summer, it does happen. And then just down here, I just have like Ziploc bags, barbecue items, and then all of the chips, and then bulkier food items are gonna go right down here. And then this is where we just keep like Abigail's waters for her bottles and baskets. And here's just like our brims and mopping systems, which all I ever use is the Ocedar mop, but my husband uses the rest. And then in here, I just have the dryer balls. And then this little piece for my Dyson, which my Hoover vacuums upstairs. We are using it upstairs. And then those are the lost socks. <laughs> all of our Premier Protein, I didn't know where else to put it. And since this would pretty much be empty, I might as well, you know, use it. And then we have Kleenex, dryer sheets, we have some gloves, and then my husband's tools. We have lunch bags, which I put away for the summer. And all those Clorox wipes. I never want to run out again. <laughs> I... I'm sorry, but I've always had these on hand, always, 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 so now it's not going to change.
And then I put away all the items that were here back to their homes. And yeah, it's just like backpacks. The boys are in summer learning, summer school, which is like fun stuff pretty much. That is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys got some inspiration and motivation to tackle an area that you need to organize and declutter. I didn't really declutter too much, but I did get some items put to where they were supposed to go. Items that need to be returned, like I got them all grouped together and in a bag. So ready to return all those items. And I am just so happy with it, how it turned out. It's been like on my mind, making me feel overwhelmed. And now that it's finally done, I feel so much better. So remember that when you are tackling an area, remember the end result. It's going to feel so good. I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love y'all. I will see you in the next video where I am tackling the storage closet behind me. That's a disaster. <laughs> Bye guys.